This is Ian McCall, and you're watching MMAElite.net. Anything new going on? Anything today? No, I'm just dreading tomorrow. Uh, Saturdays is like we... Our coach, I hope it's not going to be hot, so which, which is nice, but he takes us to the track and runs us like we're horses or something, and then he um, makes us spar, so it's a pretty horrible morning. But, you know, I got, got, got to do what I got to do. So, any, any um, like, what's your team like right now? Who are you training with, and are uh, you helping anyone train? I saw some pictures. Yeah, well, it's Team Oyama, obviously. Um, we have BJJ Worlds coming up. I don't know if I, if, I'm gonna, if I have a fight in December, I can't do it. But uh, Ron Skolzang just fought. He knocked his guy out in 26 seconds or something. Um, Anthony Frank supposedly won. I, I didn't see it. I guess he he dominated the fight and got a bad call, which happens a lot in the sport. So, I mean, it's his own fault for not trying harder and, you know, finishing. Um, you know, we got a bunch of good BJJ guys. Uh, the fight team right now, as far as who's fighting, is pretty small. Uh, but we have a lot of guys, a lot of kickboxers too. So I think Romeo, Romeo Donge is fighting in December, I think. I don't know where. I think it, maybe in New York or uh, K1. And then, um, so in the, the big, I, I forgot to actually ask you this last time, but uh, the biggest news in MMA right now is John Jones and Chael Sonnen. I mean, that's just what's going on. Yeah. What are your thoughts on on? Still getting the shot. A lot of people uh, are. Yeah. Of course, he doesn't deserve it, but whatever. I, I mean, UFC does strange things. It's gonna make everyone money. It's gonna promote the show. I, I mean, I think it's BS. What Honestly. are your thoughts on Chill? As a, as a fighter, person. As a fighter, he's a good fighter. You know, I mean, he wins. He wins constantly. But um, you know, a little boring, but. He's the best trash talker in, in MMA. <laughs> That's another reason why he's getting the shot. It's just... The fight's pretty pointless. You know, now Jones went from beating up like five, you know, top ten ranked light heavyweights. The guys his own weight. And now he's going to end up beating up two top ten ranked middleweights. So it's kind of weird, but whatever. I mean, it... it I don't know, man. It's I think it's I think the whole thing's silly, but they, you know Dana has a plan, so it's his business. Do you, do you have any thoughts about him not not wanting? Because everybody wants to see Anderson Silva and John Jones. Yeah. Do you have any thoughts on how they say they don't want to fight each other? And I think they're both afraid of losing. So maybe not outwardly, but I mean subconsciously they are. No, nobody wants to lose, and I think. I think John Jones would beat the, beat the crap out of him. John Jones is smart. He's going to take him down. And I don't think he's going to get submitted, even though I think Anderson might have better jiu-jitsu than Vitor, and Vitor almost caught him. But I don't see it. I see it going pretty bad for Anderson. You never know. Anderson could, you know, do something. I, I, you can never never count the guy out, but I think John Jones is too big and too good. Very cool. Do you, do you know any of the guys fighting tonight? or? Uh, yeah, Chris is fighting Saunders. I don't know who else is fighting. I literally just got here. I, I didn't know I had to come. And Jason's like, where are you? And I, I was at home with my wife. And I, I just didn't even, no one told me. So I, I just got here. I, I really have no idea besides him who's fighting. <laughs> Any other other stuff going on in your life? I, I saw some stuff, like some, like, um, I don't know, it was like a paper photo thing. Oh, uh, me and my wife and my daughter did a photo shoot for Jujubee. It's like a handbag, baby bag company. They, they sell like Saks Fifth Avenue and stuff. My friend owns it. Him and his wife asked us to model for it. So we did like a whole spread and there's a there's, you know, video and footage on pictures online. It's um, Jujube and then a Japanese company called Tokidoki. They did a, coll a collaboration and we're the, the hip, you know, tattooed parents who they wanted to take pictures with our kid. I don't know. It, it worked whatever it worked out and it's cool. Um, you know, my, my daughter has print work before she's like, you know, nine months old. Very cool. Yeah. Well, Ian, it's always a pleasure, and thank you for your time.